you guys who are hopeful new real estate agents and you signed up with ASREB kind of study for the test and you don't even know where to start and you're overwhelmed um, I'm gonna share with you some of my tips I actually was able to pass my school test on the very first try did some of these things that I'm gonna share with you that I feel like really narrowed down all that crazy information that you get and helped me actually pass my test Okay, so let's get into it. When you sign up for ASREB, you are gonna get one of these books. Now there is a test in the back of the book, the test and the answers in this book. So I think that's actually a really important thing to take and do for the school test. I thought I knew everything and then I took the test on the back and I was like, ooh, okay, I'm glad I took this and I'm glad I was given some other information. Because these tests, I mean, they, they're they not trying to give, give anything away. They, they are making it pretty challenging and pretty complicated. All right, my next tip is I went onto YouTube and I studied vocabulary on basic real estate vocabulary and I had a little notebook and I wrote down hundreds of words and the definitions. Um, I'm actually gonna link a video. He had a very quick, like the quickest definition with the word and I just listened to that on repeat when I did like all day long. Two, the other thing that I don't think I would have passed on the first try without was something called Randy's Workshop. Now, I don't think he does it anymore. I think he's retired. Um, but I was able to get the notes from when he did it before, really narrow down six months of information to about 50 pages um, that I could study really hard. So I have the notes here. And if you're really struggling and you've tried to pass this test and you can't, I am willing to email you these notes. I will leave my email at the end of this video. All right, so those were the three biggest things that really helped me pass my test was Randy's notes, studying the back of this book, and then my real estate vocabulary. All right, well, I wish you best of luck. And if you need help, uh, send me an email. If you have any other questions, let me know. I would love to help you in any way that I can.